Evan finally got a freaking haircut. You gotta when insert the leaves. TikTok video. I'm so pissed. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, do you have to leave? Yes. It's such a pretty view. Is that weird? Look at that house. Like I love that house. Do you? Yeah. That's cool. I like that it's in the middle of nowhere, but there's still trees. Yeah. <laughs> You've got to be. What is up with this Google Maps? Google Maps. Four miles. What's on going this. on, bud? Why did you stay on the highway? Dude. There's waves and shit. Oh my god. Oh, Kevin, look. It's so pretty. Could that person turn left like that? Okay, Gully County. Look how pretty. Ah! So excited. <laughs> I'm nervous. There it is. It is. Oh, look at it. Freaking dad's gonna be awesome. Look, Kevin. There's literally nobody out here. <laughs> What up, bro? Uh -huh. Yay! Look at you. <laughs> Say hi. Right there. <laughs> there. <laughs> Isn't this great? Isn't that awesome? I might pick them all. They were gone. They were more gone. We need to go down here. No, there's some on the back side. We'll leave that on there. It's only one. Come on, nobody bought it yet. Well, that makes people want to buy one. Okay. <laughs> I can't get it. It's <laughs> very hard to hide. It's hard to hide. Oh, I wish I would have grabbed one of these. Like this? Oh, you got it. The stem out made it less obvious. Look at these leather lemons. Is that a lemon? I'm getting it. I have to get it. Just say you don't know me. Oh no, I dropped it. Oh god. You guys, look, we're at Home Depot. I'm helping my dad restore our house. And look, he made me. He didn't make me. He brought me to Home Depot so we could pick fresh fruit off the trees. Oh, he got other stuff. There's this tree. There's this tree over here, over there that <laughs> has grapefruit, lime, lemon, and oranges. They grow from it, I'll show you, hold on. Oh, a peach tree. They're probably gonna eat them. <laughs> okay, you guys, if I haven't already explained, I am in Florida, I think I did explain because my parents bought a house and they are completely, they gutted it. 
Um, so there's a hurricane down here. They gutted it, and my dad is rebuilding it to be like modern chic. I'm like so excited. I'm, I'm, and I've told you guys before, like I really want to move down to Florida. It's like this is like I'm happy. Like it's, it's 65 right now, and I'm literally in a jacket because I'm being a little baby. But um, this is just like my happy. Like Florida is just like so great to me. Like no traffic. Like really nice people. I mean, and like I said, like, it's like that everywhere, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's always nice people everywhere, no traffic. But, like, I always wanted to move to California. I was like, this is just, like, everyone's happy. You can be yourself. Like, fun shops. This flag is from our house in the hurricane, and Dad brought it to he this guy. Buried. He found it buried in a bunch of debris, and he brought it here to see if anybody where he should take it. And this guy went and bought a flagpole and just put it up. Oh, oh yeah, you can see the end of its tattered kind of. Where you say it? <laughs> what is this place called? What is this called, Dad? Mr. G's Tacos? Yeah, he gave me his card. He's awesome. Sweet. We're gonna go eat right there. And then Dad's flag that I just told you guys about is right there <laughs> we're just eating on the tailgate i guess also look at this little tugboat i'm cracking listen to him he's trying to convince them to open up a actual store instead of this nice camper but apparently these tacos are unreal i got the south of the border and it's like crispy uh shrimp with almost like a gumbo seasoning not shrimp but it's it's fried fish with almost a gumbo seasoning on it so i'm really excited let me show you Mine, south of the border. Oh my gosh, guys. There's the park. Oh, okay. <clears throat> okay, you guys. So I haven't really like, talked much about what I'm doing here. Um, my family bought a house down in Florida, and they're restoring it. So this place got hit by like a really bad hurricane. So I just ran up like two <laughs> flights of stairs. But the downstairs actually is more intact than up here. We gutted this place because they're gonna redo it exactly how they want it. They're going modern. So let me just show you the view from up here. So yeah, like I said, this guy hit by a pretty bad hurricane. First of all, literally left. But here's like our driveway. My dad. He's so cute. And then here's our view. You guys, it's so freaking pretty. Look at this sunset. But yeah, this section is so scary. So this, like I said, these women right here have a had a house here and it got completely destroyed and they're taking their insurance money and they're building a new house so they're staying in that until their new house can be built so they're doing the measurements and stuff for that so they're really awesome and these are all really new houses but like, just look how like look at this view like we literally have like this beautiful freaking home you can see on the side it was pretty blue um i don't know what color thing but only pastel color still but it's got like a two car garage down there and then a the whole bottom floor and then this top floor so it is so freaking pretty. You guys can see how beautiful the colors are. It's so pretty right now, and I'm just so happy. And I don't know. So Kevin drove down with me, and then he's playing baseball in Florida, um, eight hours further down. So he came and dropped me off here. We had dinner. We spent the night here, and then he left. So I'm probably gonna fly from here to. I'm probably gonna fly from here to um, Fort Myers, or I think he might be in Fort Lauderdale um, because he's going to two different camps. Go see him. Oh, this wind. I don't know how long I'm gonna stay with my dad down here because he's down here, obviously. And my mom and the kid, girls come down um, probably like every other weekend right now. Look at the sun go down. Oh, look. Okay, we show mom and cold. Oh, oh! Okay. 
need about. You got a screwdriver on the ground there, man. Okay. What's up, Google? This piece of wood has been here since the hurricane. Well, I can't believe it's like that. What? Dad just painted the whole ceiling white. It looks so so much better. Well, is there drywall there? Well, no. Well, he's painting the um, the what? ceiling with antifungal stuff just in case more liquid, like moisture gets in. So it'll. I just wish we would replace that plywood. It's good. If you look at it, it's actually good. It's not. It's just had antifungal stuff. Oh shoot! How are we putting it? Long ways. Let's see. Let's see how it looks at first. Oh, it's definitely like that. Huge. Definitely going to like that. Look at that. Right here, little bit. Go right to that stuff there. That's crazy. Good morning, you guys. <clears throat> I just want to actually show you something because. Do you see my hair right now? No, I'm not being like, oh my god, do you see my hair? But like. Do you see, it looks so healthy right now. I just washed it last night for the first time since I've been down here. Okay, let me show you. So I don't have any of my normal stuff. So I used this shampoo, because this is all we had. And then I picked this up at the dollar store right down the road. This Tresme, okay. You guys, I'm still figuring out this whole Zoom thing, remember? Therese Make Keratin Smooth Deep Smoothing Mask for $2 at, ah, for $2 at the dollar store. So, I don't know, it looks really good actually, I really like it. Let me see. It's super shiny. Okay, yeah, so I just wanted to show you guys that. It is Sunday and we have church. And the church here that my dad goes to. Oh, there was a floss stuck to the bottom of that. The church here my dad goes to is like, I guess he like, he was like, yeah, I made like 20 friends. Like I have 20 friends down here now. Like, <laughs> he's so cute. Yeah, we're gonna do that. I don't know when I'm leaving or going back and I really don't want to. Like, this is what I wake up to every morning. Let me just show you guys. <laughs> and then the beach is on the other side okay, so yeah like i said um i don't really know how long i'm gonna be here i don't i mean like you guys know like i work for myself and stuff so i don't really have to leave but i do get homesick like for my apartment and like my routine and stuff so i think i might be down here for like two or three more days i've been here since thursday so well we left thursday so i got a thursday night so it's friday saturday and then today um, but I'm just like working with my dad and stuff. So I'm gonna stay a little bit longer. I think like I wasn't planning on staying down here too long. I was gonna stay here until like Monday or something. And fly out Monday, but because I drove down with Kevin, but I'm thinking about flying over and staying with Kevin for a little bit. I might fly home and grab some things, then come back down and hang out with Kevin. So, but I might not actually He's gonna be moving to Fort Lauderdale, and that's what I'm gonna go. I don't really like where he's at right now. Fort Myers is kind of like an older beach. There's not like a ton of stuff to do or anything. So then he's gonna be down in Fort Lauderdale, I think tomorrow, actually. I think they're gonna be, oh no. In two days, I think. I don't know, I might surprise him be like a really nice hotel and have us go like stay like, um, <clears throat> Have us go like stay in like a really nice like suite and just surprise them. I don't I don't know yet. It just depends on how long I'm here. I guess, I guess. so. Um, yeah, today's church like I said, and then we're gonna have breakfast and I'm just having some coffee right now. I've been I love Florida because I eat really clean when I'm here and like I've been trying hard to like lose weight. I just am like not happy where I am like, and I don't mean like lose weight and like. I just want to be skinny like I mean like lose weight and like tone my muscles which is like what all my programs are about I've gotten quite a few questions um, on my YouTube lately about my programs and like 
that kind of stuff. Now, go inside that. Bam! Just see the first time we came down. You know, we came down and went in that church before we bought the house. I know. So we just got home from church and this is what I wore. This is top is from H&M. It's like so cute. It's like this nice ribbed material. I feel kind of stupid wearing my Apple watch. I don't know why. And then these are from American Eagle. I had this all the way tucked in, but I just was in the restroom. But this and then I had on like my little nude flip-flops but i'm about to get in some workout stuff and then probably go on a run it is so beautiful out right now like, can you see? like it is so nice out. i'll show you the front in a second but i'm probably just gonna do that we are putting up a pillar in the house today so outside has four six pillars that are holding up like three in the bottom porch and three at the top porch and the bottom right pillar we are replacing today so we already have like we already took it out it's like a restoration like vlog like home renovations i guess see like look there's like lumber and stuff outside right see um but yeah like i mentioned my parents are redoing it like modern like really modern like a modern beach house and i'm so excited but i'm just going to go help my dad with that and i'll like show you guys a little bit of that and then i'm gonna go on a run because it is so pretty out so i'm gonna do that and you guys can watch So bright. The sand is so bright. Here's the pillar. Oh yeah, I just got back from my run. I actually ended up running 4.03 miles, um, which doesn't seem like a ton. Oh my god, my face is so burnt. Um, it doesn't feel. It does not seem super long in comparison to what I, I normally run, like around like six miles or something, of hit on the treadmill. So I'm not used to running long distance much anymore. But also, the wind here is crazy. Like, the ocean waves come straight in because the wind is blowing this way and then it's blowing this way and then this way and this way. Like, oh my god. So, I was running. I thought I was running with, or I thought I was running against the wind when I ran down the beach that way. And then on the way back, I turned around and the wind was like, poof, like blowing me in the face. I was like, oh my god. This whole time, I was running with the wind. So, I was just... And I also got carried away. I was just like, oh my god, the beach looks so pretty. And I was just like running and la 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 la. And all of a sudden, I was two miles down. I was only going to run like a mile and a half. Or like a mile and a half to two miles. And then come back and do some like arms and like abs and stuff. Oh god, ew. And I got carried away. And I accidentally ran two miles down. And then I turned around and I was like, oh my god, I have to run all the way back. So I did. And the UV was at seven. And it's like cloudy. So I wasn't really paying attention. And this is from, look, this is... So do you see this ring? <laughs> this is where I'm squinting while I was running because some sand was like coming up in my face. But I feel so freaking good. And I'm just gonna have one of my yogurts and an orange. Something like my go-to, either in the morning or around lunch. We had breakfast at church this morning, so I didn't get a chance to get my fruit and my yogurt that has probiotics in it. So this is just the Yoplait uh, strawberry banana. Strawberry banana. They didn't have any. Greek yogurt. And I don't know if I mentioned before, but a hurricane went through here and wiped every store out, everything. And the nearest store is like, it's not super far, it's like 15 minutes down the road. So for groceries, I just literally will like walk right down to like, it's called like the Dollar General Marketplace. And it's freaking, it's like almost, <laughs> it's literally like a mini Kroger. Um, sorry, I feel so gross. So yeah, it's just like a mini Kroger and it's got like a marketplace and like stuff like that. But they didn't have any Greek yogurt. Um, they just had like this and then like a few other options. It's just like really simple and like I love some I hate when there's like 700 options and you're just like Like I walked in got what I needed and walked it out So I grabbed a bunch of these yo plates and me and my dad have been eating these I also this from Aldi this is unbelievable. We've already demolished this. This is the almonds cranberries dark chocolate raisin and walnut trail mix So this was so good. We've been snacking on that. Yeah, we've just been like smashing some big newtons Oh, oh I'm zooming in. Oh my goodness out, zoom out, zoom out. Yeah, we've just been like demolishing some fig newtons at nighttime. So, also, you guys, this was at but Dollar Store too, Dollar General. I told you that's like the only one around here. This smells unreal. This is only five dollars. I might get one and bring it home with me. So it smells like bamboo palm, then turquoise waters, and tropical driftwood. It's so good. Five bucks. You guys, you just can't beat that. So I'm gonna eat this and then shower, and then I'm gonna help my dad. Here is the setup for tonight. I've been editing videos on here. I'm doing a workout one on the beach actually, but I'm just having this red cab that I found for like seven bucks 
and this salad is actually so good so this is from that um dollar general marketplace i showed you guys but it's so yummy so this is dinner Oh, whoa! Said what? He came down here to watch the sunset. He's cleaning up the beach. He said, quote unquote, these bastards leave the garbage everywhere. <laughs> my dad FaceTimes my family every time sunset? at the sunset time. Alright, I'll see you, baby. I'm going to use the phone. I'm going to use the phone. I love you. What? No! Love you, love you pal! Love you. Okay guys, it is <laughs> humid out. No, it is Wednesday the 4th. I've been down here for almost a week now. Ugh. But I think I'm gonna end this vlog. Oh no, this is not cute. And I'm just gonna end this vlog here because I'm probably gonna start another one. This is just too much footage. Like there's just too much going on. There's just too much going on, like some days. I want to vlog and like other days I'm just like oh my god like yesterday was so tiring like so tiring like my body is so tired so I did want to vlog yesterday and I didn't really come down here to vlog I came down here to help my family you know put our house together so and I know I've like kind of touched on it but we like bought this house we don't know if we're gonna flip it or if we're gonna keep it because they want to flip it and then upgrade and like go down the beach a little bit but yeah, my dad really likes Hollywood, Florida. He lived there when he was a little boy for a little bit. So he's like houses down there. But for right now, I mean, I love the house. I would keep it. Um, I would keep it if I were my family. So if, if I were my family, if I were my parents, I would keep it. But I'm just grateful that we even had the opportunity to get this house. Um, my parents work so hard and it sucks because I remember in college, my coach, sorry, I just shut the door because they're out there working. But um, I still remember in college, my coach would be like, oh, like you're just handed this and that. I'm like, I had to work my whole life and literally soccer was like a job like you have soccer every day for like two and a half hours and then I had like a personal trainer and stuff um like that was literally <laughs> my job was to get a full ride for college don't have debt and I don't know live my life like that's what my parents wanted me to do so that is what I did and when I wasn't working during soccer I was working with my dad which is a landscaping business and it's not easy like I was out there like it's not like he gives me like sissy jobs you know like I was out there working just as hard if not harder than all the guys just to prove that you know I was equally as good as them um all the guys like worked for my dad so I just remember him making crappy comments like that maybe like like my family works so hard like my parents work harder than anybody i know so we're just grateful to even have the opportunity to have this house and just feel so blessed so it's gonna be a good year my pan i think my my parents deserve a good year after some of the years we've had so i'm excited and thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next vlog Ooh.